It is the image creating an uproar tonight. A nine-year-old girl sporting a loaded Uzi. She was taking shooting lessons when something went terribly wrong. This video opens a window onto a thriving subculture here in America. Parents, often with an assist from the NRA, teaching their children how to handle guns. They say education keeps kids safer, but the video you're about to see will only give ammunition, so to speak, to critics who say kids and guns simply do not mix. Here's ABC's Juju Chang. Otherwise, the gun won't fire, okay? It's the latest fatal collision of kids and guns. A New Jersey family on vacation visits Arizona Last Stop, a popular gun range outside Las Vegas. It's a chance for their nine-year-old daughter to fire an Uzi machine gun. This leg forward. Her parents capture it all on video while the instructor, Charles Vaca, is by her side. All right, go ahead and give me one shot. Then Vaca sets the Uzi on automatic, but when the girl pulls the trigger again, tragedy. The powerful recoil makes her lose control of the weapon. 39-year-old Vaca is shot in the head, killing him. How does a nine-year-old get an Uzi in her hands? Well, a nine-year-old gets an Uzi in her hand when, uh, when uh, they're, they're within the criteria is eight years old to shoot firearms. We instruct kids as young as five and, and they don't get to handle high firearms, but they're under the supervision of their parents and of our, of our professional range masters. It's the latest round reigniting the heated national debate on gun control. Line is hot. Everybody's got eyes and ears on. Nice. One I've reported on for years. Nice. Perfect. Look at that. Nice. On this range outside Austin, Texas, girls as young as six are getting gun safety training with serious firepower. But these semi-automatic AR-15s don't have the same kickback as a fully automatic Uzi. What's your rifle Barbie. name? Barbie. Is it because it's pink? <laughs> yeah. Vanessa is one of seven pint-sized shooters attending what's called the Little Girls Youth Training, part of a growing trend promoting shooting sports for kids. Vanessa's just seven, but the gun industry is looking for young shooters like her to ensure growth in the future. When you teach kids that young, you take the mystery out of the gun. They know to respect it if you teach them to respect it. Okay, it's all wow. safe. Nikki Jones leads the Austin Sure Shops, a women's only shooting club that runs the kids' training course. Though this event is independently sponsored, turns out the National Rifle Association and other industry-sponsored organizations pour tens of millions of dollars every year into youth shooting programs nationwide. But should children this young really be trusted with potentially lethal force? So what we always start with are the four basics of firearm safety. Nikki begins with the fundamentals. Rule number one, treat every firearm like it's loaded. Golden rules of shooting that the girls, who range in age from 6 to 11, seem to have down cold. Don't point your gun at anything that you're not going to kill or destroy. A critical lesson since once, almost every hour in America, a child or teen is injured or killed by a gun, often fired accidentally by other children. What made you think, okay, she's six, she's ready to try this? She has seen the weapons in our gun safe. Um, and she was asking questions. That for us was an important time to utilize that to educate her. Safety, drop your magazine. Some liken it to playing okay. with fire, but Vanessa's mom so believes training with guns this. will actually make her daughter safer. She keeps several guns, including Barbie, locked up at home. The star of the event is nine-year-old Gia Rocco, who shoots like a regular Annie Oakley. Good. Give me three on the right. Skills that Nikki says are about sportsmanship, not self-defense. We don't teach them to shoot around barricades. We don't teach them to clear rooms. We don't teach them what happens in a carjacking. I mean, this is, it's Good. pure sport. While Vanessa's and Gia's parents store their guns in locked safes, critics argue training and trust may not be enough to prevent accidents. Kids and guns, they say, simply don't mix. Kids are impulsive, and you can't teach that out of a kid, right? You can't. Dr. Denise Dowd helps write policy for the American Academy of Pediatrics. She says kids' brains aren't mature enough. They lack impulse control. You can teach them, they can pair it back, but they should not be in independent control of that weapon. In her Kansas City Children's Hospital alone, there are 30 to 50 cases annually. Tragedies, she says, that are entirely preventable. You don't trust your kids 100% of the time, especially when it comes to something that is so high risk. How many times does it have to happen? before people say, it's enough, it's enough for me. It's enough for me, I, I didn't choose to sacrifice my child to this. 
the children and I keep a watchful eye on his candles. Jody Sandoval keeps a memorial for her son Noah in her Columbus, Ohio living room. He was just 14 when he and his best friend Levi were playing at Levi's grandparents' house. Levi found a gun behind the television. He removed the clip and he pointed it at Noah and he fired a shot. He didn't realize there was a bullet in the chamber. Listen as his shaken 14-year-old friend is questioned by police. And the bullets were out and everything, I was holding my hand and I pulled the trigger and it, I thought it hit the wall and it hit him. Throughout his interrogation with police, Levi has no idea his gunshot was fatal. Do you think we should tell him what happened here? I do too. No, it didn't make it. No, it's dead. Levi pled guilty to reckless homicide and was sentenced to a year of probation. His baby blanket. Noah's mom, Jody, says she doesn't blame Levi for her son's death. During trial, she even asked the judge to lower his sentence. While Levi made a horrible, terrible mistake, it wasn't an accident that a gun was left out where it could have been stored and knocked away. While 14 states have safe storage laws, which studies show reduce accidental shooting deaths among kids, Ohio has no such law. If it saves one person from the horror of what my family and I are facing, just one, it's enough. The NRA, which turned down our multiple requests for an interview, has repeatedly opposed such laws, saying they infringe on gun owners' rights to effectively protect their homes. But the organization does recommend that guns should be stored securely until ready for use, making sure that they're not accessible to children. Back on the range, safety is always a top priority for the sure shots. I have to say, all of you are very safe. Youth training day ends with diplomas. All right, first we're gonna look really neat. And a very memorable class photo. Smile! Jimmy, look at this It's clear these kids and their parents believe deeply in the right to bear arms at any age. But in light of this latest tragic accident, gun critics wonder at what cost. For Nightline, I'm Juju Chang in Austin, Texas.